been a little while, right? This is Anthony Gray. Welcome to Grayscale. No flowers this time. I think I'm going to do a pastoral sunset or sunrise uh, scene with a uh, cabin. Um, I'm going to do some colors that I'm not really known for using. So we're going to get this to be kind of a uh, kind of a uh, joyous type of painting kind of fun glowy type of thing I'm working with 11 by 15 watercolor paper as you can see the double tape okay I've taped it uh, normally on the top and bottom but I also put another strip of tape above it so I got like maybe a quarter inch uh, line on the top and bottom on the sides I went in for the border bring it in a little bit so you, my focal point is pretty much right here okay so this would be more of a glorified border I'll still paint over it like there's no tape there okay and so we're gonna go uh, get right into it alright find Mr. Trusty brush here my one inch flat kinda of my little go to brush I use it for everything this guy here starting to split up on me a little bit a lot of usage all right and I'm gonna use water spray a little water on this uh, this time I'm gonna start try to, I'm gonna get uh, try not to get my head in the shot as much as I used to little yellow the cad yellow light with some titanium white I'm gonna put it right in here go right across now with me using the water on this it will blend and fade nicely alright now I'm gonna go into my um, give a little spray on the top here I'm gonna go into my magenta I'm gonna go magenta right here on the top here As you see, the paint's pretty loose. Get some more magenta. Just mixing in with the water. Makes it very blendable. It spreads out, thins out. Okay. Get a nice thin mix here. Good little mix going on. Try to even it out here. As it dries, just put a little more water there. As it dries, <laughs> it thins out, spreads out. Alright, put it right in here, mix it in with the yellow a little bit. I kind of like what it's doing up here up top, so I'm going to leave that alone. So I'm going to mix a little bit of this yellow into it. Get it a little stronger up here in the center. Darken it a little bit. Try to get some of the streaks out of there too. that I'm gonna soften it a little bit with my uh, blender brush just soften the edges very lightly just blend the edges in kind of mix it within the uh, yellow rid of some of the streaks. Light circular motion. I kind of like the blend that's going on down in there, all in between here. Keep some of that. All right. <coughs> on top of that, Put some nice wispy clouds in there. Kind of uh, the smallest touch of, of uh, I got phthalo blue. Get some of this um, magenta into the phthalo blue. 
and I'm going to make some nice wispy clouds in here. Just to break it up a little bit. And I'll blend those in. Right into the magenta. Right into the yellow a little bit. You can go back and forth with this as many times as you feel. I might dry brush some of this on here. It all depends how I want to go with it. But I do want to keep a nice kind of a dark. I'm just mixing more magenta in with the uh, with the blue. And I'm gonna just swirl it around a little bit. Kind of give it the shape of, of clouds. Get some more. More magenta, more of the dark blue. Just using the tip of the brush or the edge. Turn it around a little bit. Some that come down here a little. And I'll just blend some of that in there. There's gonna be some <coughs> some some trees in here also. So Much like so. Rinsing off my number one or my one inch brush. Put some uh, white and some more yellow into uh, more or less here in the center part, all in here. Let's mix that in there a little bit. A little bit of white, plop it right up in there. Kind of brighten up this, this area right in here. A little more white. A little more white. Concentrate it pretty much here in the center. Just scrub it in there. Just in the center portion there. And blend some of that in there, like so. Okay, just like that. So I got a little bit of a of a little break in between both of those. back into my gonna have to reach above pad here in front of the camera going to put some more of this magenta from my tube on my little palette here get a touch more of the blue a little bit of the magenta mix that in there a little more magenta this blue is pretty strong. Okay. And I'm gonna maybe pop in some more clouds in there. Just like so. And have it come. Use the rest of it. Plop it right up in there in the corner. All up in here. Kind of darken that up a little bit. 
Just using the to disappear some of that bottom edge here. Now if it dries like it did there, a little water, then you stir it in there. So I want to make that just that bottom edge just disappear a little bit. Kind of fade it into that pink. Probably mix it in a little bit, have it come down around in here a little. Swirl some of these around here. Darken some of that here. All right. Now I'm going to I'm rinsing off my brush. I don't want to lose all that uh, pretty magenta. I'm rinsing off my little scrubby, uh, my little. Uh, makeup brush here. I still want some of the magenta to show through pretty strong on that. And so, I'll take my little scrubby here. I'm dipping it into the magenta itself. And I'm going to go over some of this. It's going to mix in with a little bit of the blue, but that's okay rub off excess and keep it going I'm not really too worried about I um a totally smooth transition because there'll be trees up in here I'm gonna get most of the most of the streaks out of it though. Keep it pretty smooth in there. If I wanted to brighten that up just a hair, I'll just add a little bit of the white and the magenta mix. And we possibly put a nice little glow somewhere up in here. Just stir it around. Don't stay in one spot too long. And I can always come back and darken in previous clouds. If I feel it needs it, I don't think it does. I say clouds will be covering most of this anyway. White is an opaque color. very aware of my uh, little border lines in here. Now, being that this paint is kind of wet, hopefully it doesn't bleed through too bad on the tape, under the tape. I pressed it in there pretty good, so we'll see what happens. Alrighty. Nice trusty towel here. some of that out of there. I'm checking it out while I'm uh, doing this. Make sure everything's straight. Okay. Let's get with the uh, with the trees. Now I want my trees um, to be a fairly dark mix. I want my trees to kind of come in and make a gap toward the center. Um, and then the rest of this would be land and I'll put the cabin or something in here. Alright, so I'm going to get a nice little dark mix going here. I'm going to use, I'm trying to pick, uh, I'm trying to choose what brush I want to use. I think I'll use this guy here. This is a round brush number 10. I'll use this one. 
And right now I'll take the paint um, and put it on my lap here. I'm going to mix my sap green and my blue and some red. Sap green, blue, cad red. blue. I want this fairly dark mix. And I'm going to throw the trees right in. Uh, put them in here with this. Alright. I kind of wanted to swallow up a little bit of the uh, something like that in there like this. So let's do this. Play with the tops. The tips. We're painting right above the tape itself. I'm not worried about um, all underneath in here. I'm not too concerned about all of this here. That's going to be kind of solid. But I want it to come, come down. Gently come, come downward like, like so. All this would be all padded in there. Kind of dark. This I'm not too worried about. Okay. We're going to go on the other side here. Got a little beater right down here. Alright. Okie dokie. Fan brush time. Well, what I'm going to do is put certain little highlights here and there within these trees. Some of them will be seen, some of them will not. Um, when I put the uh, the cabin in, okay. But we're gonna put um, play around with some highlights here. Getting into my sap green, some yellow on a uh, fan brush. I'm gonna dip just the smallest bit of it into the water. A little bit and we'll work with the corners of the brushes all right so let's say I want to put well let's highlight the tree uh, right about in here for the first one you might not barely see it we'll see how it goes I'll put it in here now you're not gonna see that I'll put a little white in there so you guys can actually see this thing. Okay. That should be enough. Let's put one right in here. Yeah, you guys should be able to see that. So we're going to do a little highlight left and right. Just like that. No more, no less. I'm going to put one right here on the tape. Have him go down a little further. You just have it just disappear. Don't even have to trail it all the way down. It won't be necessary. We'll put one right in here. Okay. Uh, we might shine one right in here somewhere. Let's go on the other side, do a couple there. Just left and right using the corner of the brush something like that dipping it more into the white more into my sap green a little yellow in there the smallest touch of water loosen it up a little bit and we're going to do it again like I say as this paint settles it gets a little darker so it kind of blends in even more. So the, the light will look a little more subtle. I say some of these you will see, some of these you will not. Let's put a nice bright one in here. Kind of wake that up up there. Put a little tip on that one. And let's go downward. Let's go down here. Just, just tapping left and right. I'm turning the brush over. Alright, uh, 
let's put a couple of them in here. You can always experiment with your. Okay, your we're going to continue on. Put a little brightness in here. Give me some in here. You can make these bushes. You just flatten out your. Have it trail on. Like so. Even in here, just take it and make it flat. You see the different shades and the variations and tones you get. Now you got depth into your picture, to your painting, without even trying so hard. Let's add a little color into that while I'm doing that. So let's put a little red in there. Get a little deep red. Mix it right in there with that green. Tap it a little bit. Put some out here too. Let's put some out, out there too. Don't be scared. Just tap it in there. Let's put some up in there too. I'm just blending in the bottom and just destroying some of that edge in there. If you want to be adventurous, like I'm going to be. I got a little blue, a little white. Put some of those in. Tease a little bit of those in there too. Just here and there. Like I said, the cabin's gonna be in there, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna obscure some of this stuff. But you, that's okay. Paint you paint right through it. pretty neat. This drying off the fan brush. I'm going to just show it to you instead of trying to explain it. I'm trying to look for my smaller fan brush. I do have it hidden around here somewhere. There it is. Gotcha. We're going to go pure white and yellow on this one because I want some of these to really pop. Nothing but white and yellow. I'm not going to water the paint down. And maybe... Just tap in some highlights here and there on some of these guys. Yeah, chill out. On the other side, just, just a few lines here and there. And if you want, plop in some lines for your tree. Maybe a couple of trunks here and there. Don't necessarily have to be on the trees themselves. You plop a few hidden around uh, like so. Just here and there. Don't have to have too many of them. I think you guys can see some of these. I don't want to uh, over highlight those back there. I think that's pretty cool. Maybe, maybe a couple back there, small ones. Or you can just take your brush and just there, something like that. Some something going on back down there. Okay, pretty cool so far. Hope you guys like it looks all right okay I got some of this yellow on my brush I don't want to waste it so let's go with the phthalo green a little bit of blue in this yellow lighten it up a little bit let's give ourselves maybe a cutesy little path of green here just a little path right in here some of this will be covered and obscured by the tape get a little wider down here. Maybe have it curved. We go straight down. So you got a little path here. Right on the tape guys. Just because the tape's there, it's alright. You still want to maintain the flow of your painting, so paint right through that tape, okay? Something like that. That's pretty cool, yeah? 
All right, I'm just rinsing off the smaller fan brush here. Usually ideas pop in my head as I'm doing them. And then, you know, it's up to you if you want to flow with it and just go on and follow your, follow your little path. Why not? Works for me. Of course, I'm going to put some post here. So I'm getting into my CAD red and my, uh, my uh, CAD red and uh, phthalo blue. Getting a little more phthalo blue. As you mix in the paint, it's good for you to properly mix it in if you're kind of looking for a solid color. I need mine a little on the dark side here. And we're going to plop in some nice dark little poles here and there. Yes, I'm drawing right on the tape itself. You still want to maintain the flow of your painting. The poles are getting a little larger as they get closer to you. Some you will you will see. They get a little taller as they get closer. Some you will you will not see. Because of uh, just because of the, uh, the tape. But still maintain that flow. They get a little bigger, a little wider, as they get closer to you. And don't do what I just did. It just slipped right out of my hands in an inconvenient spot that I have to go get now. I'll be editing that out probably. That was annoying, but it happens. It happens to the best of us and to the worst of us. It just happens. All right. Anyway, enough whining. Let's get get to going. All right. I gotta dip a little bit of this into the water to loosen up the paint. Getting some more of the mix. Cat red. Phthalo blue, a very deep maroon color, almost looks black. Now, you won't see the true color until you mix white with it. But as you can see, I am adding the pulse. Each pulse is a little taller, a little wider than the others. Now, this road curves. So I'm actually going to put a taller post, almost intersecting the other other guys. So I'm going to need more of the uh, cat red, thalo blue. I'll be highlighting these guys also. And let's put a nice. Thick one right in here. Gotta highlight it anyway so you, think you can see. Once I remove the tape, it'll be difficult to tell. Alright, I'll just add white to the mix I do have. I'll just dry brush some highlights on here. Oh. Uh, Especially on this one here, this guy here. Do it on one side. <coughs> We're going to put some shadows going across this green here. So I'm just taking a little bit of blue, a little bit of the red, and some water. We're going to glaze. Some shadow right on across here. Heavy meat on the other side. 
right, so a lot of this is on the tape. When the tape gets pulled away, you're not going to see it, but that's okay. I still keep the appearance of, uh, of everything in there. Alrighty. I'm going to take um, another brush. Probably the same guy here. I'm going to make some, some, well, yeah. I can do it. Because I ran out of green, but that's alright. I got yellow, yellow, some phthalo, uh, some sap green, and some uh, cad yellow. Uh, just a touch of uh, titanium white. I'll put some nice bright bushes around here. Maybe, maybe up around in here. And maybe a couple right there. Maybe a bush or two right there. Just tap, and tap a few of them in. Maybe a nice one right up in here. more of the white, some more of the yellow, get a touch of the blue, put it right in there. And just put some right in here. Go in a circular motion. If I want it a little deeper in certain spots, I'll use red and blue, make it a little dark in just the certain areas there. And plop it, maybe. Nah, maybe not. Plop some here in the edge. Something like that. Alright. Okay, enough of that. Rinse off the brush. <coughs> Most people would usually tape off the cabin. I'm still going to put the cabin approximately in here somewhere. Alright. A lot of this is dry also. Let's do uh let's do the cabin here. I'm gonna need some more of my cat red and need a dark dark mix here. So I don't really want to put my head in front of the camera. This is out red for the here. cabin. I said I want the cabin to be oh somewhere around here, in this area here. So I'll put the cabin up around in this area. I'll just block it in. And I'll go from there. Now for those of you who aren't confident enough to do something like that, then you can always uh, sketch one in. I'm trying to find a suitable brush. You know what? I'll just use the flat here. This is a, uh, a number eight flat. I'm going to use this. I'm going to block it in. Um, using the uh, blue and the red and the green. I'm going to mix them all together, give me a nice super dark color. Close to a blue black. I'll sketch the cabin in using this. I want a nice size, uh, I'll put a nice size cabin here. What I'm going to do though, I'll start off with the V. Upside down V right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'll block in the V. I'll bring it down around. I'll curve it back down, maybe right here. Something like so. I'll block this right in. Block it right in there. See, so if you're not confident enough to just sketch one right on your paper, that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. You can just get a traceable. judge where I, how far I want to go in with the lip of the roof on the other side. It's blocked in anyway. I can uh, shorten or lengthen how, how deep I want the uh, lip of the roof to go in. As a matter of fact, it needs to be a little lower. Whoop. Yeah, I want it a little lower. There, something like that. 
then I will block in it might be on the tape itself and that's okay that's quite all right lock it right in like so lock all that in too blocking it in I kind of know where I want to go with it like I say if, if you're not comfortable with doing it this way that's okay perfectly fine you can use the traceable trace it in there more of the green the blue and the red I'm doing using phthalo green set uh, um, phthalo blue and cat red medium or light one of those two matter of fact let me tell you which one it is uh, cad red light okay as I just blocked this guy in Side down below, and just block him in over there on that side, the side of the house or the cabin. Lock the whole thing in. I already know where the edges are going to be, so that's okay. I'll block it right in there. Get some of this a little darker, then go over it again. But something like so. And I guess I'll put a little little stack of a chimney in here right around here like that. round it off maybe I'll have a round one instead of a, a square one okay that's it for blocking it in anyway you should be able to see that a little bit okay in fact I'll zoom in on this guy you guys should be able to see it a little better like that Alright. Don't worry about the edges down in here. They're gonna be obscured by brushes and whatnot. But you're gonna use the lighter color uh, anyway. Let's uh let me do this for you. Talk about lighter color. Let's 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 put Mr. Roof in right around uh, right around in there like like so. So you can at least see where it is. Alright, so now you, now you know where it is, and of course, there, does that make a lot of sense now, you see where everything is, okay, and of course, um, the second part, or the uh, part of the house that, that, that uh, comes around, you can either have it come before, or come after, a little after, like, have it a little wide, maybe, maybe around here. If you want it there, all right. Like I said, this would be some bushes and all sorts of shrubbery. Um, the door, but they got to enter it some kind of way, right? The door could be right around here. Somewhere around there, like that. Okay, so the door goes there. Uh, window can be somewhere around here like that. Um, of course, you got some on the side here. A little more narrow. Somewhere down there like that. Okay. Mm, give it an upstairs. Put, it, put one right. Put a small one up there like that, if you want. Your discretion. You can have it up there, or not have it up there. That's up to you. Okay. That's basically um, where I want everything. Pretty much here or there. Gotta wait for it to dry a little. Still kind of tacky. All right. So while that's doing the drying thing. 
I'm rinsing off my tiny little brush, my little tiny Tim brush. I'll put it, uh, where would I put it? Up there, I'll put it right here. Okay, where can I find it? All right, as it's drying, I guess I can throw in a little bit of make pretend wildlife. So I guess I'll throw in, I think I'll use a magenta. I'll plop a bird in there somewhere flying around. If I put the magenta in here, a uh, magenta colored bird, it'll look like he's further away. Alright, so I'll plop him all right around in here. I might give him a little friend. He's a little higher above. Uh, uh, over around there like so. Okay. So he's a, they're around there. You can probably barely see them, but they're around, but they're they're a little a little further away. Okay. Now if I choose to use a darker color for another uh, bird or whatever. I can have him fly a little bit lower. He's a little closer. And a little bigger. Somewhere around there. Let's give him a, quite a wingspan. He's a little closer to us. I even put a little body on him here. He's a little, he's a little closer. He got a friend too. He's a little closer hanging around. So. Matter of fact, I'll put a nice little white dot there and make him a little eagle. Put a little white dot right there. So he, he's, he's a big old eagle. And put a little white dot right there. Them two flying around. Alright. Let's do something with that roof. With the roof. I guess I want a, a little red for the roof, a little bit of orange, yellow, you know, and just a tiny tad of blue. We'll stroke the roof on there. I guess I have the roof come in little patches. Um, so it's up to you for the, for the design of your uh, your roof. Up to you how you want to do it. Hey, can we, can we uh, seal them off there? And I just go straight downward. Whatever pattern it takes, it takes. It looks like planks of wood. It's fine. Just like so. Do it on the other side. Go all the way down. Kind of judge it. Which I just be careful. Mixing in with the tat with the uh, with the blue, and that's fine. I'll give it the nice little dark ram on the edge. You don't want it too bright, so I'll give it that. Let's go upward with it. Does not have to be a perfectly uh, um, sketched in roof? It is in the woods, obviously by hand, man-made. You can make it as craggy as you want. Up to you. Get rid of some of that. Put that into the color itself. So put it more yellow, more red. I kind of like that color and just go back over that. Like so. like that. Okay. Getting a little more red. A little more yellow. Get cover up that white. I'll 
I'll feather some of that out of there. Let me get the inside look of the house a little bit. Now I'm gonna get more yellow. This time I'm gonna get a little titanium white, mix it in with that red. Got a tiny bit of red in there. And the slightest touch of green. Kind of gray it out a little. There we go. A little more red in there. Kind of a brown gray. Got a mixture of the cad yellow, cad red, fatal green. Okay. And we're going to, it's going to almost look like the color of the roof itself. I'm going to go straight across. Like so, streak it right across like this. Do it again directly underneath. And again, and again. And we're going to go around across to the other side, other side of the door. Around across. I'm going at an angle. Right on across. If it looks kind of crazy, looks kind of rough, even better. Now remember, I got tape on this side, okay? Just touching one half. Now, all the, up to you which side you want a little darker and a little lighter. You have, you have a lighter side and you have a darker side. I'm using a little phthalo blue in with this mix. Because I want to have the other side a little bit darker. I'm getting more uh, red and yellow. More red. Kind of darken that green up a little bit. And you can do the same thing with a darker hue. Right on the other side here. Yes, I'm going over the windows on this side to the method to my madness while I'm doing that. Just like so. Bring that out right there. Just like that. Alright? Now, I'm going to take, I'm just drying off my brush. Alright, we're almost through. Take a little bit of yellow, the smallest bit, and I'm just going to lightly brush across. If some hit, cool. If some don't, that's cool too. But just, just a little bit on the, on the edges here. I'm just using, I'm tapping into um, the number of pure yellow on the on the fine edge of the brush and I'm going over it if I don't want some of them are, if it's too strong I'll just go over it again okay I'm gonna take blue and touch it with white together so I'll get a little, a little under a highlight on the other side here not too much not too many Just like so. Getting a little bit of the white and blue mix, or the red and blue mix, excuse me, red and blue. Darken. Edge of the roof here. Get some more of this mix. Darken the overhang on the other side. like so. You didn't think I forgot about that chimney back there, did you? It's rounded. Oh, it's about right here. I'll put it right there. I'll highlight it. But Mr. Chimney's like right around here. It's, it's rounded. I'll uh, highlight the tiniest bit of white. But it's right in here. Let's get to these windows a little bit. The windows I want a little darker. Red, a little bit of blue. We're gonna blacken in these windows. I'm not gonna use solid black. Here's 
one there. There's one there. I won't I won't use solid black because it would be such a stark contrast to anything that's um, perceived to be black. It's the only reason why. So you make a color, even though this is on the tape, I'm coloring it black anyway, still maintains the flow of the whole picture, alright. The door itself might be surrounded in tape. If so, I'm going to have to shift the door a little bit. And I do believe it is on the tape, so I will shift the door right here. Right there. As you can see, if I use totally uh, total blue, without adding that red in there, it looks blue. So I gotta add the red to darken it up. Match it up a little bit. Alright. There. The door looks a little wider. Oh, the, the window is actually on the on the tape, but that's like I said, that's okay. Alright. So let's get to putting a little bushes and whatnot around Mr. Cabin here. And that will be it. I'll peel off the tape that you see what it's somewhat supposed to look like. I use a filbert uh, for some of these brushes, uh, bushes. The bushes here, uh, I'll use a little bit of this green, more yellow than the green. I'll tap in a few here and there. For the bushes in here, just tap in a few. Well, you know, I'm going to have to mix white in there. I have to make it a little more opaque than that. So still green, tap in the yellow, some of the green, there, that will cover up a lot of that. And we're just going to tap in some, some, some bushes here and there, plop some up in here like so, up around here. Bring some of that out there. And some up here. Kind of blend it all in there. Pop one across the back of the house here. Get a little red, mix it in there. Gray it up a little. And give me some dark patches in there. Almost there. Kind of gray up some of that in here too. Even though it's covered by a lot of the tape. You know what? Let me brighten that up toward the back. Continue that path right on back there. Brighten some of that up here using some of that, that white there. Touch a yellow and white, maybe. Put it right in there. Scrumble some of that in there. Just like so. All right. Believe it or not, I do believe we're about done. Should be almost near the hour mark. Who knows what it's going to be when I chop it up, the video. Okay. I will add my little signature. I just wanted to do something a little different than the uh, than the flowers that a lot of you have been accustomed to seeing me do. I think I'll use white to highlight my name this time. Uh, this painting is a little, a little more of, like I said, a little brighter, a little joyous to look at. Not as not as dark. All right, let's put my name somewhere in here. 
Oh, let's put it around here. Once again, thank you for watching uh, my tutorial. I hope you can use some of the tools that I have uh, may have newly introduced to you if you're new to painting. And um, you're able to use them in your own painting. Uh, what month is this? This is what, seven? Yep. And um, like I said, I hope you're able to, to use some of these. I'm just highlighting that the, the actually I'm, it's just my way of getting rid of some of this paint, to be honest with you. And since I'm going toward the back, shade some of those down a little bit. There. And put a couple of them in there. there. Um, if you got any questions, leave comments down below. Alright. Comments, criticisms are welcome. Alright. You guys want to see what this thing looks like when I draw it backwards? Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back. Let's see if it came out. Came out right. We're about to find out right now. With the funky border. This border would look good on a larger um, canvas, actually. I think it was kind of designed to be done on the larger canvas. It might get a little bleed through. Like I say, a lot of, uh, some of the painting does come there, off with your tape. So, kind of judge where you want your um, the most important part of your painting. See, like I said, a lot of the cabin the windows and the door will be missing. So, kind of judge where you want your want your want your uh, your focal point to be. It's gonna, my focal point was more or less in the middle anyway, so that's it. And I peeled this off. It's more of a lift pull, so you don't shred your, shred your uh, well, I'm doing it on watercolor paper, so I'm gonna, it is a lift pull, so I don't shred none of the, uh, shred none of the paper. Yes, a lot of your posts are going to disappear, but that's okay. And for heaven's sake, don't sign your name over the tape. That's just bad business. And there you have it. All right, that's what she looks like. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I say on a larger paper, this would look even more appealing um, with the uh, crazy-looking border. All right. Um, if I do another one like this, I would do it on a wider uh, paper, and I would bring the top inward to where probably where the first one is all right but i think it looks pretty unique it's different right if you throw a a, a frame on it it looks pretty wild so once again thank you very much for uh, watching grayscale 
Um, I haven't done a YouTube video in a bit, so I decided to just do something a little different. Like I said, a little, little, little cabin deal in the woods with the trees backlit a little bit, highlight the tops and all that fun stuff. Got a little little path and you little uh, 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 poles here and all that. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're able to use something um, for your own paintings. And I'll see you next time. Till then, happy painting. God bless. And I'll see you again. Later.